faith and welcome to another edition of you call it coach in the kitchen so I'm uh, today going to introduce the uh, new my take if you will on the plant-based um, baked ham and cheese sandwich so anyways uh, really simple stuff uh, I'll show you some of the ingredients that I'm using all of the ingredients that we use uh, that I'm using in these segments are for uh, are completely plant-based are completely animal free and animal free pro byproducts as well though so you talk about the butters they're gonna be the animal uh, um, um, no dairy animal free um, you talk about our uh, I mean, even all the way down into the cheese. The cheese is all dairy free as well. So we'll be using all of that. And some of, uh, some of the other things you may like, we got Dijon mustard, we got Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna just really mix this thing up and have some fun with, uh, with, with eating and in a plant-based way. And again, we we're just talking about trying to be live and eat a little bit more healthier and kind of understanding what your body can uh, uh, um, use. And, and produce energy from some of the foods that we, uh, the intakes that we have, uh, the food intake that we have, uh, um, as well as uh, stayed off, staying off some of the illnesses that we come to uh, have had over the, over the, over the generations, so over the years, if you will. So the high blood pressure, the heart disease and diabetes and so forth. Our diets help to uh, kind of curb some of our, our, depending on what we eat, uh, help to curb some of the uh, on, uh, early onsets of any of those type of diseases that uh, that we talk about here. So, anyways, um, another little shout out to our right now our campaign that we have going on, uh, all in. Our pastor talked about it again in our last recording. So, we want to continue to like amp and, and encourage you guys to get all in, right? So, um, go on to the website. We have uh, uh, several different things that we'll be doing. One of the things that we're doing that I'm kind of really getting into and really pushing people to try and, and uh, encouraging people to sign up for is the 100 mile challenge. Right now we're into that second week of, and if I'm not mistaken, this is, you probably should be doing around the third, third three miles today. So after you do three miles, we're gonna come right back in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to eat some food here. You all in? Here we go. All right, so now I've already kind of pre-cut some of these. My, one of my favorite uh, uh, guilty pleasures is utilizing the Hawaiian rolls. The Hawaiian rolls, get them in 24 pack, pull party pack there. Uh, it does say that it's 90 calories per serving, which is not that bad, really not that bad, especially when you start putting this plant-based stuff on here, which doesn't have as many, uh, have as much fat or have as many calories. So um, with that said, before I get started, we're gonna wash these hands of ours right here. A little bit of soap. Hands washed. I want anyone to uh, catch any cross contaminants of mine. Of course, I'm always clean, I don't know what you're talking about. Hush your face, brother George, all right. So now, all right, so now I'm cutting these in half. Oh, and since I've already had the time to do so, I'm gonna uh, just show you that these were already cut in half there, right? I got 24 of them. I'm gonna take a little bit of avocado oil and sauce the bottom here or not soak. Just want to, I guess, brush a little bit on the bottom. Not that we're worried about anything sticking, but we want that little flavor on the bottom of your slider here. All right, that's about enough of that. We'll put this over there, because we're gonna use it again. That is <laughs> on the bag and not on the table there. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put I like to turn mine and get a little bit of the avocado oil on the inside and on the outside of that bottom. So I'm using, utilizing the bottom of the slider or the, the roll and getting them both with a little bit of oil, just a touch, I don't want it all. Should have probably just separated these beforehand too, but that's okay. I got them cut, so we're moving forward. So again, we're talking about plant-based eating, right? You're going, coach, get off it. Don't want it. It tastes terrible. Not the case here. Again, the biggest thing that I taught, that I, that I, that I taught, that I teach, or that I, I uh, 
recommend is that you basically use the same habits or the same seasoning that you would if you were just seasoning meat. That's all I do. I mean, uh, obviously you don't want to stay away from as much salt, which is a heavy dose of sodium, of which, you know, there's a misnomer about salt people haven't talk, thought about is your body's made up of a great deal of it. So some your body's made up of it and your body requires it a little bit. So I'm gonna have to scoot these down a bit because I have, and because I'm doing 24, I probably need to have had a 13 by nine thing, but we're gonna make this work like so. But anyways, you have salt in your body. So having a little bit of salt is required. We're gonna go into our, use our butter, we're gonna melt our butter first. And I'm using vegan butter. Oops, if I can keep it. And I brought two different ones just so you can see that, uh, you know, they have various different type of, uh, of uh, uh, brands, if you will, of butter. Uh, one of my favorites though is the Mayoko, Mayoko. Uh, but the Earth Balance is really good stuff too, and I would, uh, uh, use either and probably both of those but both of these together i mean obviously i don't know if you know much about vegan butter but it is basically made of nuts right for the better part nuts and a few other different things soy and so forth but uh, nuts is your main thing here and i'm only going to use three-fourths of a cup of this butter so you're looking at i don't know three-fourths of a cup. Ugh, math. Used to be good at it. So either way, three-fourths three of a cup of uh, butter. And I'm gonna go over to the microwave here and put it in the microwave uh, and, and melt it first, all right? Butter does melt. Good, all right. So now, I take, I, well, I, with my butter, I'm gonna take about, and I've already kind of pre-prepared this, uh, a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard, right? And you can add more if you like, if you just really like Dijon mustard. Um, there's obviously a ton of different types of Dijon mustard. Uh, the one that we all probably grew up knowing was past the Great Pupon. Uh, and they have like that, the, uh, the country one, which I really, really like. It has that really uh, uh, spicy kind of feel, brown mustard kind of feel, it just really tastes good. I like to have that in my sandwich. So I, I took the little con the country route. That's the one that has like the little darker spots and stuff like that. And I'm not going to try to even attempt to tell you what those are, but I think they're mustard seeds if I'm not mistaken. So anyways, I'm gonna take a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. I already had it pre-poured. So now I'm just gonna pour it in there. We're gonna mix this all together here. All right, good. Let's go and throw those out here. And I have plenty of this at home. Well, let's keep that just in case. We may want to keep a little bit on the side in case you want to put a little bit more on your sandwich once the uh, it comes out of the oven, All right? So I've got a really good mix here. And with this butter, you may want to you want to take some time to make sure that it's all really mixed in good. You don't want uh, because Worcestershire sauce does have a little bit of oil in it you want to make sure that uh, it combines really well with the other ingredients that you have here with your butter. All right, so now, and I can just place that right there because that's where it's all going anyway. So now we're going over into constructing our sandwich, right? So I have here our smart deli, our smart plant-based deli, deli meat, which is ham we're using today. They have several different types of deli meat uh, uh, for, for plant-based, turkey, plant-based, uh, just plant-based bologna, I mean salami, I don't know. They got some of everything. They've really gotten really creative with, uh, with giving you options. Uh, so I'm gonna take, a, a, and we're gonna use a whole pound, a whole pound of this deli meat. So, and they come in probably, I think it's 5.5 ounces here. So I've gotten three. And I'm just gonna cover my buns here. <laughs> I'm gonna cover my, okay, never mind. Sorry. All right. We're gonna um, take a, let's take that one out of the plastic there. Cause I'm gonna use all of this meat, our fake meat, plant-based meat. We won't call it fake meat, we'll call it plant-based meat. Um, 
And again, not that I'm pushing this up on you, I just think that there's a lot of people who have had uh, a lot of medical issues in the past, they have medical, is medical issues in their family, um, and a lot of that is hereditary because of the things that you've been introduced to as a child, or even you know before you even come out of the womb, you were already introduced to certain types of things, fats, saturated fats, trans fats, fat fats, <laughs> introduced to a lot of these things that your body kind of craved as you've gotten older. And so with that you comes the uh, residual effect of what happens when you intake some of these different meats. I think that's one there. So let's see, there's two pieces. We're not gonna mess with that. We'll put that there. So now, and I'm gonna layer, and I have several different types of uh, vegan cheese that you can use. There's the, the creamy original. I love chow cheese. It is really, really, really good. It, it's the closest thing to some of the, cheese, some of the uh, more uh, 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 affluent, I don't know if you say that, but more uh, rich cheeses that, you've, uh, that you may have encountered before. It tastes, it tastes really good. It goes really good on the sandwich here and it spreads well. Um, most plant-based stuff, uh, cheeses, I should say, d d don't melt that well. This actually melts pretty good. And so we're gonna use the uh, spicy version of it right now first, and I'll pull that out. And I'm just gonna cover right where we were. I'll leave a little space there. Oh, you can smell that, huh? What do you think, bro, Josh? Mm -hmm. Smells good. Hey, there it is. There he is, that Holy Ghost hum. All right. Got that cheese there. All right, so now we're gonna go with some more deli meat. And we're just continuing to layer here. And again, this is not to uh, diet shame you in any way. It's more so, again, just to give you other options and to let you, and, and to open your eyes and your minds to something new that is actually not that bad. It's actually really, I mean, for, as far as the taste is concerned, you're not missing much. Um, I know our bodies kind of crave meat. You've heard me on many occasions on many different productions that uh, I love ice cream. Uh, um, also love all soul food just about. Uh, I did have my chitlins on New Year's Day <laughs> with, my, with my black eyed peas. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, since we already went with a spicy one, I'm gonna go with that smoked one here. So there it is there, go with the smoked cheese, and we're gonna continue to keep layering. Did I open, go ahead, didn't open that one. Okay, well let's just open that one real quick. Nobody told me, and there we go. And I'll just pull that out real quick too, makes it easier to work with. And we'll go with the smoked version here. Let's go, there we go. And again, I mean, uh, you can put them in whole like this. You can put them in uh, cut. You can, you know, cut them to uh, the size of the, uh, of the sliders. Doesn't matter, it's gonna melt anyways. And you're gonna have an enjoyable sandwich. So enjoyable baked sandwich at that, all right. And then I'm gonna top it off with the last little bit of meat. So you're gonna, I mean, and, and, and again, we're talking about plant-based. You can eat hearty without stuffing yourself. Uh, we do know what that feels like, particularly after these holidays. I keep talking about my holidays, man, I really, really ate good. And you can probably see it through this little tight shirt I got on there. But uh, <laughs> stop laughing me, Brother George. Um, but fact is though, you know, this is the first of the year. I'm all in. Uh, I've professed my claim to be all in and I'm gonna live all in. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm not 100% vegan again. I think I've, I may have said that on one production before, but uh, I, uh, have been and, and will continue to be uh, majority of the time, probably about 85% of the time eating a plant-based meal for me. It just works well with me. Uh, my joints feel better, I feel more active. 
I'm, uh, I feel more lucent, brain is clear. Um, I just really feel like I wanna do more when eating this plant-based diet. And I wake up really refreshed, really refreshed, ready to go. A little earlier than I would normally tell I'm getting old. But, um, and actually, you know what? I wanna throw another, no, yeah, why not? We're gonna throw another slice of cheese on here. We're gonna throw another. Why wouldn't we? It's here, might as well use it. And this one, my absolute favorite, tomato cayenne. Beautiful, beautiful texture to this, or uh, texture, there's that word. Uh, <laughs> tone and temper to this uh, cheese. I'm gonna have us a great baked, plant-based cheese slider. Man, that's a lot of uh, ham and cheese slider. A lot of uh, descriptive for that, but that's what it is. All right, so now we have all of our things layered here. Uh, don't be too, don't be fooled. That is flour, extra flour that they put on to these things here. But we're just gonna just put these on just like so. And it's a great opportunity to bond with the kids and have them help make their own food. There, got all those in there like so. All right, get those out of the way here. Now, my little mixture that I have here. First, what I like to do, because I'm a little meticulous about how I want my food to turn out. Actually, I, I forgot one step. Guys, forgive me, I forgot one of the more crucial steps. Minced onion. It is a great flavor enhancer. And I'm gonna, normally you, you put a tablespoon of, I like to shake to my heart's content. And I'm gonna put probably, yeah. Here. So the flakes are a little big and sometimes they get caught up in the little cracks where the hole, where, where, the, uh, where it normally comes out. So you end up shaking for a little while. So this looks like I'm probably shaking a ton of it in here, but I'm not. You talk about a tablespoon worth, that's probably about a tablespoon worth, right? About there, that's my lucky number, okay. So I'm gonna mix that all together here. Ooh, you can smell the onions too, huh? Bro, George, you smell the onions there? Yeah, okay. But George don't like to be in my productions. It's all right though, I'm bringing him in there anyway. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna just put that there for right now and use my brush. So I'm gonna take my brush first, all right? And we're gonna just slather. I'm painting. This is about as good as it gets when it comes to me painting anyways. Oh, don't get splashed on, all right? Painting on there first, just so I can coat the bun. I wanna make sure the, all buns are coated before I go with the five-year-old splash it all on there. <laughs> kind of deal. But these are made to be fun. Uh, as you can probably tell with any of my productions, anything I'm doing, uh, working out, uh, talking to you about health, I wanna do it from a fun perspective, cooking. I wanna do it from a fun perspective, something that you can enjoy doing. No one wants to slave behind anything or labor behind anything that they don't have to. They're not getting paid for, but, but uh, it's all about having fun. So anyways, so I've just, I've made sure that each of the buns, or the top of the buns were painted on or brushed. And now I'm just gonna pour kind of, kind of just all over it, you know, all over. All right. So now this is what it looks like and now we go to the oven with, all right? And I set my oven at 350. I had it at, at 400 just to like make sure that I had. We're sitting at 350 and I'm gonna let that go for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, what is our time right now? I think we have, yeah. So we'll probably get that thing out in about 20 minutes and you'll have 
We'll be bon appetitin'. While that's in there, we'll just talk a little bit about what we can do with sides, right? So, I have a uh, guilty pleasure of these bean chips. Uh, not guilty pleasure, I'm not even guilty about this. Look at what these bean chips offer, but they have so many different types. That's a white bean chip, they have, I mean, obviously you can see the sour cream here. They've got hot, they've got, uh, you know, uh, any ones you can kind of think of. Cheddar, various different ones, but they're called Benitos. Absolutely love these chips. They, um, and you, like I said, you can see the calorie counts and the proteins and all the various different nutrients that you possibly can get from these chips. Good thing to add in on a, as a side piece for the, uh, side, piece, side piece for the uh, 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 um, sliders. And so now my mixed fruit. So I just get, I, I pick, typically just pick out a few things or whatever else, but I, all, what struck me with this one was that Coconut, coconut and mango. Who knew that they went together? I tell you who knew, the Caribbeans. Them dudes uh, and, and women are on to it. They know what they're doing as far as pairing uh, uh, various different fruits together. And so I, you know, I love uh, uh, the coconut with the, uh, with the mango. I have some uh, um, pineapple and strawberry. And that's what that looks like. Got some pineapple and strawberry, a little bit of this. I'm gonna take, you know, okay. And obviously, everything goes great with fresh watermelon. And yes, I cheated. I didn't cut the watermelon myself, but they cut it pretty good. And, I, and this up from experience, when you buy the watermelon already cut like this, you probably have two, maybe three days. And then it's probably kaput. Yeah, I mean, you talk about just the nastiest tasting type stuff that you have to throw out, I think. We have, I mean, I, I tried some sometime. I'm guilty of, my sister calls me junkyard, but I'm guilty of uh, kind of just trying some stuff <laughs> to see if, you know, if it's still good kind of thing. If I can't smell it or taste it, then it must be good. I tried some old watermelon one time and I, yeah. I've learned my lesson well, so I'll uh, kick that on off to you. Please do make sure that you, if you got, if you buy your watermelon already cooked, cut and put in one of these like little bins here, make sure you eat that within like the next two or three days or it's no good. All right, let's see what those sliders look like now. Ooh, where are my pads? There we go. These pads have been through it. Oh. Look at that. Huh? Who wants some? I bet I know who. All right. So we're just gonna operate right here. As you can see, I've already put my fruit together here. I put a few chips on there. We'll throw this one in my mouth. And then, mm, got a little fruit on that one. That was good. Take my little serrated knife. Make sure you're operating carefully with the knife and with this heat. So the foil is kind of tempered to where you can kind of op, you can still move. I'm just gonna cut right through. God, that smells good. All right. Again, the little serrated knife helps to get through. And the, and the plant-based meat is not as tough to cut as you would find with regular processed bologna and ham or whatever else. All right, so now going in, let's cut up. There we go, messing around with it. And we're not gonna mess around anymore with it, I tell you that. There we go. All right, and so now you got about one and two sliders there, meat sliders. Cut one more out of there and you can, and again, we have so much in there that that thing looks so cool, gosh. You guys ready to eat? Let me get a couple more plates out here. My media folks. There we go. There's Miss Jess, ladies first. And age before beauty, here you go, brother George. All right, <laughs> here we go. And voila, you have your baked, plant-based, 
ham and cheese slider sandwiches. Like I said, you, got, you can access, accessorize that the way you'd like. If you're one of those that's not too worried about your calories, throw some Doritos on there. If you worry about your calorie count, you have some bean chips and they have various different flavors of. In fact, those bean chips that I showed you earlier are really, really, really good. You try those. Mixed fruit to throw in there. It's really something uh, very uh, uh, healthy for the kids and healthy for you. This is our new year. Let's start living a little bit more healthier. Incorporate some of these things into your, your diet. You can't go wrong, all right? That said, God bless you. We look forward to seeing you again on the campus sometime soon. Please remember to keep everyone in prayer, not only with the church, but also within our society. We have a new regime that's getting ready to take over here. We just witnessed uh, some really uh, uh, difficult times. Uh, we're in difficult times. We witnessed a real difficult situation to go on with our, our government. Uh, let's please hold up all of our government officials and our leaders in, uh, in, in prayer during this time as we are transitioning out of a dark phase and going into hopefully what would present us a very um, uh, lucrative and uh, uh, blessed uh, new year. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you.